We are now cross-examining Cammy Meal. And what you want to do is go to the statement about the key card and the shop. This statement right here. You want to press this statement and you get a new piece of testimony. All about how Cammy can speak Borginian. Now, speaking of documents in Borginian, don't we have one of those documents inside the court record? Go to the statement about her speaking Borginian, then take out the document in question, and then you want to present it! Oh, hey, we have some brand new sleepy animation. Cause she's my sleepy time gal. That's right, my sleepy time gal. Ah, and this is a falsified document. And if you're the person who signed on this document, that must make you the falsificator. If that's a word. The falsifier? I'm doing the objection point, which means I'm very serious, and she fell asleep again. Don't fall asleep when he's doing the objection point. Come on, Cammy. What's this? Serious music? New animation? Is this a confession? Oh, it's not a confession. She confesses that she signed the document without verifying if it was true. Really? Yeah, I agree with Franziska. It would make you look very suspicious. Uh-huh. So Edgeworth is thinking Miss Tenairo is innocent because it looks like she's being set up. Makes sense. When what's this? What's this? Something that connects Miss Tenairo to the crime? Oh, I've got this. I've totally got this. Let me see. Aha! The suitcase! That's the piece of evidence which links her to the crime. Take that! And at the same time, it kind of exonerates her. Because the killer went so far out of his or her way in order to steal a suitcase. Just because Miss Tenairo is the only person who owns a suitcase, and the killer was trying to frame her. Yes, yeah, so I agree with Edgeworth. It definitely looks like Miss Tenairo has been set up. She's been framed, I tell you. Framed!
special circumstances surrounding the case? Let me see. I'm guessing the special circumstance is where the murder took place. Okay, so Edgeworth has just formally accused Miss Mule, and she responds by yawning in his face. No definitive evidence? Oh no! And wait, a piece of evidence which has not been used so far? Let me see, we use that, we use that, we use that, 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 and hey, we didn't use the cell phone yet! Take that! So present the cell phone, and Edgeworth will chase down this brand new lead. After all, questioning Miss Mule didn't get us anywhere. But maybe figuring out about the cell phone will! Yes, that's exactly what Francisca said. And it seems that the murderer stole the cell phone. So if we could find the cell phone, we could find the murderer? I think that's what Edgeworth is trying to say. So right now, Edgeworth is going to call the cell phone, and then they're going to see where it is. Alright, the cell phone is here! I can hear it! So let's see if we can find out where the cell phone is hidden.